I was trying to sleep with my one night stand from a few weeks ago on New Year's and we try to literally use as few words with each other as possible. Saturday he wrote sup, I wrote yo, he said what doing? <laughs> he can't even be bothered to write what are you doing? I wrote party. What doing is the best. <laughs> it's, it's so rude. It is literally like I don't respect you at all. So I wrote party. And he wrote where, and I wrote East Village, you. And he wrote now, I wrote why. He said, want to hang. I said, can't. He said, okay. I said, okay. He said, let's hang. I said, you won't. He said, what? I said, we'll see. <laughs> he said, oh, well. Wow. Oh At 1034, I sent WYD. He said, come over. I said, come out. He said, come here. I said, no. He said, K. He said, K. I said, K. And then at 1 a.m. I said, W-I-D, let's play. He said, let's. I said, give me your address. He said, what? I said, give me your address. He no. said, are you coming? And I wrote, nah, home. <laughs> Chances are the guy was drunk. Chances are he's not that into her. So she was always a backup. If you're going to booty call someone, do it precisely. Do it with the respect and the fun that it deserves. This might be funny postscript, but... I don't know, man. When I see things like this, it just makes me cringe as a dating coach because I, I want people to have fun and show finesse in their game. And there's, there's, there's two drunk people lost in their loneliness.